Welcome, brothers and sisters. But, um, man, it's a beautiful day, brothers. The air has never been as crisp. After I'm done with this video, the grass <laughs> will never be as green. You brothers... You brothers should be happy. You brothers are lucky, man. You know? You brothers are lucky. I hope that once I'm done with this video, you men will see the world in a totally new way. I'm going to approach this argument from a different angle. And uh, after I'm done... I am hoping that you brothers will be happy as well. It's a happy day for the brothers. <laughs> Very happy, man. You black men, I hope that you that you have happiness. I hope that you find happiness in your life, man. We only got one life to live, man. And there's no sense in living it in uh, the manner that we have. But, um... The name of this video is going to be Black Men Are Lucky. You know, and I've said that many times, but why are black men lucky, man? You know, I'm talking about the average black man. The average black man is lucky because he is not the love interest. He is not the number one love interest of the North American black woman. <laughs> You are lucky, man. Don't you get it? You're lucky, man. You know, you're not the love interest of these women. You're not her target male. You don't exist. <laughs> you know, but that's a good thing. You know, you get to pursue other interests. You get to pursue your educational and vocational uh, accomplishments you get to um, you know you get to you get, get to explore your options you know even though black women believe that you sh you're supposed to be sitting there waiting for them you know you're supposed to be getting your education pumping your brain pump well education that's a slippery slope because <laughs> we all know you know black women hate men that can uh counter their arguments <laughs> you know so um man man this this stuff that us brothers talk about on these videos this is a this is a new form of education this is a new form of intelligence that we that we speak about on these videos these videos will change your life save your life or prevent you from getting caught up in, in some drama in, in a certain situation. You know, but today is a happy day because a lot of you men will come to the realization that you're free. <laughs> you're free, black man. You're free. You're not the love interest of the North American black woman. She is dangerous. You know, these women are dangerous. You know, they want nothing more than to use you and abuse you. You know, you men are utilities. That's all you are. You know, there's a problem. There is a problem, you know, that I find. And that is that, um, you know, as you men are pursuing your careers and things of that nature. And other love interests. You know, these women, <laughs> these women are, you know, they're going to uh, feel some kind of way about that, but they don't want, they're not ready for you yet. They want, they want to be, they want to be able to have their fun, go out there, kick it, you know, get pregnant three or four or five times. <laughs> and then once you men to, uh, 
be waiting in the wings when they get ready for for a good man. I want a good man. You know how they say, you know how that you'll see that on some sometimes you'll see it on their uh dating profiles. They'll be like, I don't want no I'm tired of these these dudes. I want me a good man. Ah, evidence. <laughs> You women provide so much evidence that it ain't funny. But today is a beautiful day because you men are now free from the BAW. You know, you are lucky because you are not the love interest of the North American black woman. You know, you might not you, you might not be 64 uh, 300 pounds, 280, who knows what she want nowadays, uh, she gotta have it, <laughs> you know, the problem with these women is that they want to have their cake and eat it too, you know, they want to have their six foot four thug criminal type swagnificent male, <laughs> The dude is swagnificent. And uh, then they want you. They wanna they want you for, for money and things things of that nature, you know. You, you take them on dates, you know what I mean, make them feel like a queen, worship them, you know, so they got they got a man that's giving them the D, you know, for the D challenge. <laughs> These women are sick. Oh, I mean, watching you women crash and burn is the highlight of my day, I tell you. You know, but, um, man, you men, I hope that you men find happiness. I hope you find solace in this video. I hope you can truly appreciate your freedom. You are free, man. You are free. These women don't want you. You know, they can pretend, because these women are dangerous, man. When you think about it, they're dangerous. Getting with these women are dangerous. I mean, brothers are always coming to my con I mean, my uh, comment section, letting me know that, man, man, you right, man. man I was in a, I just got out of a situation with, with this one woman. <laughs> this is all I hear. Man, you right, man. This is, uh, you know, these women are retarded. <laughs> I mean, all of this, all of these brothers can't be wrong. All of them are wrong? All of them. All of them. They all, they don't know what they talk about. You know, you men are lucky not to be shit. You lucky to be a nigga who ain't shit, man. Did you know that? You are lucky, man. She'll never say that about the her love interest. She'll never say he's a nigga, but you are a nigga who ain't shit. You were you you were supposed to bow to the queen, allow her to use you and abuse you and throw you away. You were supposed to take her out on dates, wine her, dine her, you know, take her to movies, write her poems, silly nonsense. You know? You're supposed to damn near worship this woman, man. But not her love interest. Nah, no, she worships She worships him. She worships her love interest. You are not him. You know, when are you brothers going to wake up? You know, when is the average black man going to wake up? You, you are lucky. You are a very lucky brother. You're lucky, man. When black women are paying you no attention, that means you are lucky, man. You get to you get to escape the prison sentence that you got waiting for you. <laughs> A lot of you men are going to prison messing with these women, man. You're going to jail. Okay? You're going to in front of the judge. Your honor. Yes, your honor. I understand that. I'm gonna pay that much money. Sign here on the dotted line. <laughs> you better. Uh, it's the same, but damn. Hopefully, 
you brothers are going to free yourselves from these women, man. Free yourselves from the clutches, the grip that the vagina holds over your mental state. Y'all men are mentally, a lot of you men are incapable of giving up that vagina, you know? I know it's good. It's, it's like a drug. I mean, shit, it feel good. You know? <laughs> it feels great. Wonderful. You know, but um, it's dangerous at the same time, man. You mess with the wrong one. You got the wrong one. You got the right one, baby. <laughs> but you mess with the wrong one. <sighs> Another one bites the dust. Another one fell victim to the Black Widow spider. You know? Man, but if you can manage, if you brothers can manage to escape the clutches of the BAW, you men are, man, you men are lucky, man. I'm not talking about pursuing other races of women either. I mean, when, when I talk about this situation i'm not talking about pursuing other other races of women i mean other races of women you know they they you know they have the same they have the same um agenda which is to subdue you men they have the same agenda as the north american black woman except the black woman has made it known that this is what she <laughs> other races of women are dumb enough to make it known Okay, they go about it in a different way. They 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 use finesse. Okay, they finesse. They make you want to give them things. They make you want to do things for them. They make it so you don't even care about doing things for them. Not the black woman. <laughs> no, not the black woman. She. You know, she uh she is a very peculiar peculiar <laughs> type of creature. She's a she's in a class of all her own. You know. Man. But when you walk outside and you see the green on the trees, you see how green that grass is, if, if there's still grass around here. I mean, we in your state, city, wherever you have, country, you know, there's still some leaves on the trees. You're gonna start seeing colors in different ways, man. You're gonna, the air is gonna smell so much more crisp, so much more clean when you realize that you don't have to deal with these women. You know. <laughs> It's going to be a beautiful thing, brothers. You know? It's going to be a beautiful thing, man. You do not have to become the subjects of the North American black woman. You men are subject to vagina. You vagina subjects. You worship the vagina. And she could make you... She can press, curl, and contort you men into all different uh, shapes, into pretzel-like shapes, <laughs> uh, you know, just for the vagina. You men will bend over backwards for these goofy-ass women, you know. Freedom is coming, though. Freedom, true freedom, 100% freedom is coming to you, brothers, man. Financial freedom financial liberation let's talk about financial liberation you know sexual liberation you men have you men have been liberated man these women look pathetic man these women are out here worried about sex worried about how oh i slept with this dude and he was six foot four and he was 300 pounds he's I, I, I be getting dudes like that all the time. I be having sex with them. <laughs> Some of these women are so stretched out that it, it, the, you, you you gotta get in there, you gonna fall in. Like, well, 
Oh man. I done fell in the I done fell in the vagina. And the problem with it is, is that a lot of y'all it's gonna take you six months to get it. <laughs> a lot of you beta males. You know, in the meantime, while she's out here, you know, while she's making you wait, do you realize that she's actually having sex with other dudes? You do realize that, right? You know, she got her a man. She got dudes waiting in the wings. Most women have men waiting in the wings. <laughs> oh, that's just my friend. I grew up with him. <laughs> a lot of you men. Y'all a cocktail. Cock, cock, cocks. Cocktails. Whatever. I don't know the word. You men are cucks. You know? Don't be a cuck, man. You don't have to be a cuck. You don't have to be a cuck, man. These women have given you an out. They said they don't need no. <laughs> Every time I think about the L's that the black women take, it's like, it's so funny. I just can't help but laugh. It's it's just comical, man. You know, I really don't care what black women do. I honestly don't. I don't care if they interracial date. I don't care if they breed themselves out of existence. I really don't give a damn, you know? I don't really care about anything these women do. The only thing I care about is the fact that they, they're going to use and abuse you men in the process. They're going to drag you through the court system, the child support system, the no-fault divorce system. There's a system. They put systems in place to control you, to manipulate you, to extract your resources. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. <laughs> Is she going to be off with that dude out in the Bahamas spending your money? You know what I mean? You're going to be working three or four jobs trying to pay alimony, child support, and some old mess. You know? You men have the opportunity to be liberated from these from these fiendish creatures, man. These women are fiendish, man. They're, they're, they're uh, conniving individuals. Ugh. A lot of these women look like trash, man. A lot of these women look like fucking garbage, man. The black woman that sold you men out for weave and 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 weave and um and getting their nails did, <laughs> they sold themselves out as well. You know, they sold themselves, they sold their souls for weave and and getting their hair done. And a couple and a few trinkets here and there and strong independence. You know, a lot of black men, you know, are experiencing growing pains behind this betrayal. These women have betrayed you, and a lot of you, you know, you're gonna deny it, you know, you're gonna say little silly shit like, nigga, man, put you man, it's more man, you women, you know. Man, fuck these hoes. I mean, women, you don't need to be worried about these women. You just need to get more pussy. You need to get your game up. You need to get your game tight. You goofy ass niggas don't understand. Game is irrelevant, okay? And then you niggas ain't really got no fucking game. I can tell you that much. Okay? You think that you running game on her when she's running game on you. Y'all men really think y'all running game on these women. You Do you honestly believe that? I can tell you a little bit about your game. These women have heard it all before. <laughs> They've heard all your games, Negro. Okay? They've heard it all. Okay? They've been hearing it since they, was, since they started sprouting titties. You know? You men are pathetic. You talking about get your game up. You know, it's not about game. It's about how women manipulate men. This is about the brotherhood. This is a brotherhood over here. Okay? This has nothing to do with uh getting pussy. 
Because any, bro, any brother could get some pussy. I mean, even if you got to just pay for the pussy. You're going to get some pussy. Pussy's for sale. All vaginas for sale. You know? But hopefully, hopefully you men have a brighter day. Hopefully you men could see the sunshine in a different way. Because you men have just been freed from the clutches of the uh, North American black woman. <clears throat> and I am barely scratching the surface here because, you know, I'm driving and can't really focus. But um, I was driving. I wanted to go in this store real quick. But, um, man, you men are free, man. Just, you know, we're going to talk about finances in a minute. Helping brothers get their finances up so they can enjoy their freedom. Enjoy their freedom, letting them know what to watch out for. You know, watch out for these females. You know, if you don't want black women to pursue you, like if you are a good brother, you just so happen to be 6'2", 6 6'4", 6 whatever, 250 pounds, whatever, uh, you know, you got your money right and all that. If you happen to be the love interest of, of the North American black female, then uh, I'd advise you to, uh, you know, dress down. <laughs> dress down. Don't be too flashy. You know what I mean? Don't don't have no swag. Don't walk around with too much swag on them. Don't be dripping in swag juice, man. We're in a Target. <laughs> uh, you men are the targets of the North American black woman. She's after you, motherfucker. Ooh, we she gonna have you make his own child support. This is what we're talking about. We're talking about the system that hates black men. There's a system out here that actually hates men, period. Especially you black men. See, when they putting the white man through the system, they might have lenience because they didn't really make the rules for him. They made them for you. You know, but any white man is dumb enough to get his ass caught up in it, they gonna rake his ass over the coast as well. But most of them laws were meant to prevent you from uh moving forward. You know? To stop you from pursuing your goals, interests, and dreams. You know? And you men have the opportunity to be free of these women. To free yourselves from their grip, from their clutches. To stay as far away from them that's possible. You see, you know, if you one of those, if you the love interest of the North American black woman, you got to learn how not to make eye contact. Look around them. Look past them. You know, don't make eye contact. You know, don't pay attention to that booty. That booty is a lure. It's like going fishing. That's what black do. They use their ass to go fishing. <laughs> They're like, look, I'm going to show my ass. That's like don't casting the line. You know, they're casting out their line. And, uh, you know, they watch. And you men are like guppies. <laughs> you running over there to the vagina. I mean, black women can catch you niggas like, like it ain't nothing. You know what I mean? Just take a picture with her ass to the side. And you dudes are coming running. You know, you simps make it hard on the on the brothers. You simps and you pandering ass dudes make it hard on black men. You make it hard on the man. You make it hard for us to do our job. There's a lot of black men out here that are putting in work. They're putting in work on these women. They're trying to get these women in line so that the future generations could have a fertile soil to plant their seeds in. You know, and the problem with that is the fact that black women know that they're a flock of simps that's going to come a running soon as she turn her ass cheek to the side. You know, she can say, fuck what that nigga talking about, fucking black power nigga. I don't want to hear all that black, blackity black power shit. Nigga, I got these niggas wrapped around my finger. Watch this. Turn her ass to the side. And you fucking dudes come a-running. Like clockwork. <laughs> you 
You know, you better going to get tired of doing that. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to promise you that, man. You're going to get tired. You know, a lot of black women have pimps. You know, they might not know they have pimps, but they have pimps. Some women don't even know they got a pimp. <laughs> you know, you tell them the right things. You you indulge their you indulge their insecurities or you indulge in their in their base, very base instincts. And you become their pimp. Just indulge in their very base because these are things that they already want to do. They want you to call them a bitch. A lot of these women want you to call them a bitch. They want you to treat them like whores. You know? They want you to sodomize them. You know? Play on their base. You play on their base instincts. You you, you bring out what is already in them. It's already in them. This is already what they want. They want to be whores. They want to they want to be whores. They just want you. They don't want to be judged for their whoredom. You know? They don't they don't want you judging them. If you will accept their whoredom, they will accept you. They will give up. They will give you anything you want if you accept them being whores. You know, now you brothers are going to get, you're going to learn, you're going to learn, a lot of you brothers are going to learn the hard way. A lot of y'all going, a lot of y'all going to learn the hard way. Your woman got a pimp, your girlfriend, she has a pimp, (laughs) you know, a lot of your girlfriends got a pimp, your wives got pimps, might be her boss. At her job. She like she liked that dude telling her what to do. She liked it. She gets she gets wet. She her fucking panties be dripping wet. When she come home to your ass. She gets her fucking rocks off being bossed around by some some man. You went you went you went on get it. Some of y'all gonna learn the hard way though. But to the brothers. You are free. Free yourselves. We're gonna get into the we're gonna get into finances soon. We're gonna get into finances soon. And um we're gonna see what we can do to help brothers out, you know. Help brothers uh pursue their goals, their dreams, their interests. Free themselves from the clutches of the North American black woman. A lot of you men are already free. You just don't realize all the freedom that you have. You just don't look around you and see how free you are, man. You're so lucky, man. You're so lucky not to be the love interest of the North American black woman in general. General. Okay. You know, the only thing about it is there's some rules that go along with it. There are a few... There are some rules. There are some limits to it. They are going to use you as a beta male. They're going to turn you into a beta male if they can. Beta male coon. (laughs) You know, beta male coon. Because you're a coon. When they pursue their education and and, and, uh, and they um, go out into the world to do their thing, they're considered strong and independent. When you get your education, you go out into the world you know, and you try to get a job or whatever at some big company or whatever, you're considered a, a beta male coon. You know. But you men, see a lot of you men are going to keep following these women around. They're going to learn the hard way. You know. You don't even, you don't even know if the vagina is any good. <laughs> you, you, find, you follow a woman around that that you don't even know if their vagina is any good, man. You know, it's weird. But anyway, brothers, man, man, I want you to go outside, man. I want you to really understand, man. I want you to really understand all the freedom that you now have, man. 
you know, if you do have one of those sisters, if you do have a good sister, one of the few sisters that are out there, you know, hey, you want, you want, you, 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 you one lucky dude, man. <laughs> you one lucky dude. I can't even tell you what to do with him. You know what I mean? I can't tell you what to do. All I can say is that, you know, sometimes you got to test the uh, barometer to see where these women are tr truly are mentally. You know, truly are. I want you to go home one day and be like, I lost my job. <laughs> Take some vacation time. Be like, look, I lost my job, man. <laughs> a lot of you men gonna find out real quick, man. These bitches ain't shit, man. They gonna fucking rake you over the coals. I want a divorce. I've been waiting to tell you this for years. I want a divorce. <laughs> and now you done lost your job. I ain't gonna stick around. These bitches, you gonna come home one day, bitch, be gone. <laughs> gonna be gone with your children your children uh, you black man don't get it I, mean, I hate to say it like this but damn but to all you other brothers man you got freedom man a freedom man you know it's a beautiful day it's a happy day it's a happy day man Black women are, you are not the black woman's property, man. I hate to make this video too long. On that note, I want to say peace, get on the five steps, adopt them all, peace.